Hey, good morning to the DMV. That's right, this is Daryl Haley, and I'm down at Afterwards Cafe and Grill with the chef, Henry Posner. So now, chef, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, Daryl. So now, chef, what are you going to be making today for the WHUR 96.3 Fitness Friday meal of the day? We're going to make the uh, cafe whole grain and veggie platter. And it's a favorite among vegetarians and non-vegetarians alike. I'm Henry Posner, again, the executive chef. And I want to introduce you to Gary Wigan, who is going to be doing most of our actual preparation on the line. He's one of the, our staff, and he's responsible for a lot of the signature dishes we've developed at the cafe over the years. Hey, Gary, how you doing, man? I am doing just fine. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. So tell me about what we're going to do in the kitchen. Okay, today we're going to prepare our famous cafe vegetarian platter. And we're going to show you how to put together all the beautiful colors and the beautiful grains that we put on there. The fresh dip vegetables, it's going to be beautiful. And now we're going into the kitchen to cook some food. Okay, we start here with our veggies. We blanch our veggies. Blanching is a process of immersing your veggies in a hot water for approximately a couple of minutes. And then immerse it in cold ice bath. So it shocks it and stops the cooking process. The color comes out nice and beautiful, nice and green. We're going to take it and we're going to saute it in olive oil. It's all for the chair, so no butter. We're going to start off with our... Rotten Robbie, add our kale, garlic. We're going to saute our potatoes down until they get nice and hot. And salt and pepper. And while that's going, we're going to saute off the roasted veggies. These consist of butternut squash, sweet potatoes, potatoes, rutabaga, turnips, and parsnips, and red onions. Okay, we saute those, a little bit of salt and pepper. This is a crostini, consists of vegetarian white beans. I sauteed some carrots and some onions, and then we put them down with some fresh thyme. Those beans and uh, the farro are cooked in a vegetarian stock that we make here at the cafe. It's not water, it's not chicken stock. And that vegetarian stock is made with olive oil, onions, peppers, tomato. And it's a very rich, full-flavored stock. Nice and toasty around the edges, nice color, and you're ready to put it on the plate. You can just smell the aroma. And you have the cafe vegetarian platter, and that's for lunch. This is a gorgeous plate. It looks really good. So now tell me, what's in this gorgeous dish? Okay, well, you got, um, well, of course, you have the kale, which has been uh, cooked before and blanched in ice water to fix the color. You have the same thing with the broccoli rabe, which is a kind of a bit of green, which balances very well against salt and the other ingredients in the dish. You have grilled peppers and onions, which add a little bit of color. You have our uh, vegetable hash, which is made up of rutabaga, turnips, parsnips, butternut squash. And we have a white beans, and the white beans are soaked overnight. And these are cannellini beans. They come from Tuscany. They're a meatier, flavorful beans, but you can substitute a navy bean or a white bean. Uh, we cook the uh, beans and the farro and the quinoa in our own homemade vegetable stock. Man, you know, I'm sitting here trying this meal, and I got to tell you guys, this thing is absolutely fabulous. It's six points with the field goal. This is a touchdown. You got to come try it. <laughs> so now, Chef, tell me about the wonderful restaurant of Afterwards Cafe and Grill. Well, Afterwards Cafe is a growth started in 1976 as Kramer Books and Afterwards Cafe. Uh, we were the first bookstore cafe in the nation, serving meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, cappuccino, and a full bar. And we were the model that started the whole trend towards bookstore cafes. Over the years, we've evolved from a simple cafe serving coffee and quiche, and uh, we have a wonderful outdoor cafe on 19th Street. Uh, we're open from 7.30 in the morning till 1 o'clock at night, seven days a week. Uh, we're now a Washington institution, and people from all over, uh, our regulars comprise customers from down the block and from all over the country who come in on their travels. And when they come to Washington, either on business or pleasure, they make sure that they stop at Kramer Books and afterwards uh, as a destination point for them.